another adventure that really popped up, cropped up because my buddy Courtney is in town and he knew about a um, show that's happening, actually being hosted by um, an acquaintance of mine um, who is, yeah, in this hood. So I have to find it now. 322, 328. 330. Okay, so I've got to go back that way. Oh, Lord, in the sun. Yes, it's carnival weekend, so we'll catch those vibes. these uh, residential street areas in the city. We just drove through an entirely Orthodox Jewish section. Very interesting. I mean, it was something, you know. I, so here's where I'm going. Going right here and already it's made its mark. And now I'm gonna go. I think this is. All right, Hello. good to see you. You too. Finally, I make it Welcome. here after yes. all the invitations. After all the invitations. Um, and already, just from the entrance alone. Yeah, so this, so I, um, so I opened the gallery in the house, and literally this is my first show. Um, the gallery is Watermelon Projects. Right. And Watermelon, uh, the name Watermelon because Watermelons were the first uh, product that black people were able to get financial freedom from after the abolishment of slavery here in the U.S. So, Brilliant. and then it was turned into a racist trope. So in order to um, try and kill the market. So I am reclaiming every bit of watermelon and its blackness. Brilliant. Welcome. This work is Nick Nicholas Stansberry. And, and what was inside the doorway? There was a piece in the doorway I noticed when you opened the no, door. No, no, that's not. So part of part of what I do is I'm showing uh, work. Watermelon projects will show work in actual inhabited living spaces. Ah. So there is work uh, that's mixed amongst my collection also i've taken I see. i've taken a good portion of my my work down uh which you'll see as you go through the space um but some of you know a, a lot of the sculptures and um uh artifacts and, and some paintings are are still up that's in my private collection but i've um and i'm still trying to figure out the balance between how do i show work that's on offer mm -hmm next to work that's just part of my private collection and how to help anyone that comes into the, the space, how to help them navigate and sort of know. This particular show is kind of easy because all of the work is pink or most of the work is pink. Hmm. So why, that, why pink? Well, so, so this, this artist, Nicholas Stansberry, is uh, from Indiana. He's 44 years old. Um, uh, he's a, a dancer by training, mm -hmm. uh, but he's also influenced with uh, fashion. And uh, as a kid, so fashion and beauty. So as a kid, he'd always been fascinated with pink and he loved pink. Mm. He wanted to wear pink as a kid. Mm -hmm. He was not he was male and was not allowed to wear pink. So this is his, you know, now he's able to wear pink. So uh, he takes pink and normally pink is very soft. Right, he's right. taken the softness out of it um, by um, beating it up, mm. for say, with, mm. um, with, with the texture. There's coffee, there's like um, 
there are some he actually uh, sometimes just add different layers mm -hmm. um, to it to to build the pink up the, the pink up in order to make it rough. So it's it's the roughing up of the mm -hmm. of the of the pink. So then it's both soft and rough, right. and then he couches his figures into the the pink suit because he, he archives blackness so he's couching these figures um into it to show the both the softness and the roughness of blackness mm. black people beautiful yeah. and when you talked about the balance with your own work and the work that you have for show mm -hmm. it's also helping people to imagine the pieces in their space in their own, among their own exactly pieces. because galleries are are oftentimes very stock spaces that just show uh, art on white walls, mm -hmm. um, and 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 then people try and put it into context of how this would work in a place. My nephew is here with with visiting is with some of his friends that were ready to go out. So this is an actually inhabited living space. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, come, come here with two of my friends and get ready. Okay. Perfect. So, um, so, but that's that's uh, what it is. So people are able to even the way I've i hung the show, uh -huh. also uh, show people different ways of how you incorporate art into your space. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not just about oh, you know, we need a wall to put this on, or it needs to be hung. You can lean. You can do. Mm -hmm. You can do any number of things. Mm -hmm. So you'll see as you come. Yeah. Thank you. And what I haven't figured out yet we close this door. Yeah. Um, what I haven't figured out yet is so I want to um, I want to um, so it's my house that I normally don't do shoes in my house. I'm like, oh I have all these people coming through. I haven't figured out how to work that out. I'm gonna work it out anyway. So Anyway, that's this it. is the same artist's work. This is right? the same artist. So it's the the art is on. Um, uh, I have three floors here. The art is on two floors, mm -hmm. um, and it's you know it's all over. And the the name of this exhibition is the Edge of a Dream. Uh, the so Edge of was, a Dream. The Edge of a Dream. So as he was creating this work, putting well, putting most of this work together. Some, uh, there are one or two pieces that are older pieces, uh, but most of it started um, during the pandemic. And he was just listening to um, Minnie Ripperton's album, The Edge of the Dream, and he sort of got lost in it. Mm. So there is, um, so there's this, this, uh, so the, the collage is from vintage Ebony and Jet magazines. Mm -hmm. um, Old Vibe magazine, some Essence magazines, uh, some photographs that he's taken himself, and, and other images that he sourced from the internet, and he just he, he takes them. So some are actually uh, direct cutouts from the um, from the uh, magazines, mm -hmm. and others are copies. So you can see here, like this is a copy. This is an actual cutout, and he, he just layers it, layers it, and he gets to the point of what he calls the beautiful grotesque. Mm. So mm. that's um, yeah. so that's it. So even the way, so if you look here, when I was talking about the way we, uh, the way uh, hang, so just hanging pieces on a corner, right. like you can do that because most people are like, oh, you can do a corner. So this is on the outer corner and that's an inner corner which, mm. there, mm. which which many people don't think about and also people think about oh art needs to be centered it needs to be no no it doesn't you want to add so in a space so aside from being a gallerist and curator my training is I'm an interior architect so um, and I do uh, mostly residential spaces high in residential spaces so mm -hmm. that's where um that's where this uh this comes from so to in order when 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 putting art into a space um it should be harmonious you know you and you want the eye to travel you don't want the eye to just go to one piece and and be there mm -hmm. then what else is there mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It's about always having the eye move around a space. Mm -hmm. And that's where real comfort comes from a space. Because you, you, you relax, you just, oh, you go around. And sometimes, you know, there, there's a, uh, a danger of doing too much. Mm. But I don't know that danger. <laughs> 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 because, you know. Um, it's almost like too much is never enough. <laughs> too much, you know, more, 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 more is, is more. more is more, you know, le- because it tells the story. And I think the, the idea, and I think as long as there's things that you love, right? things that fuel you, and I am fueled like tactile, like, you know, like, my sofa is, for instance, <laughs> was, you know, I, you know, I'll do, I, I love a, love a pattern, you know, and you just mix it. Mm-hmm. And when you mix it, it just all, you know, it all comes together, this, this beautiful thing. So that's this space. I'm going to show you a couple pieces over here. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. This, 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 I mean, I'm reacting wow to the space yeah. as a whole, yeah. actually. Hey, Google, turn on <laughs> bedroom lights. Um, yeah, so these, um, this is it. You know, when I, I, I saw your space, I talk about your space often. Really? Often. Yes. I'm going to shoot it for a project. You don't know it yet, but I'm shooting it for a project. (laughs) 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 Because it is like, I'm like, it's just inspiration absolute inspiration so you know so that's it so like so with this show so this artist nicholas stansberry i i have uh some of his early works he's been um he's been an artist for about 12 years Mm -hmm. and i have his earliest work actually Mm -hmm. i have the you know in my personal collection so he, he he draws he's an illustrator mm-hmm. and uh he also does collage so this these collages are also his his illustrations but uh he paints so this is uh one of his like his earlier um collage pieces um which is uh, a mixture of uh painting with coffee and tea um collage from um, a sketch that he did it's a, a few things here so that's earlier Next to a contemporary one mm. that he's uh, doing, I think this piece may be, I don't know, that piece may be about eight or nine years old. Um, and he, his style uh, varies, but this pink is just the, 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 the pink. And so there he burns. So the, this is on wood panels. So these panels, he's burned in the, the, uh, and then the, and these are, this is coffee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then he just, you know, so the, the surface is not precious. Right, right. He's just, you know, he's, again, he, he, he goes for it. It's, it's the, the roughness though in this pink, again, that you, most people process as soft because that's how we've been socialized. He's, you know, making a statement that, you know, uh, of the of the opposites. You know, it's, it could be soft and rough. You know, and 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 both both actually have, you know, uh, validity, and, and they can actually exist on the same plane. Yeah. So it's kind of like a um, a claiming. Arguably, even reclaiming if you look through history, how pink was used as a color. Exactly. And then I think of um, whenever I've been to the continent and been to marketplaces, and you find some of the best art kind of bundled up in a bunch of really just dirt. Right. And you pick it up, you brush it off, and say, "Now this is what I want to take home." Right. <laughs> you, you know. know so, so, so th- that's also how I collect mm-hmm. I collect so I, I was uh, talking to um, had a, um, a, a a viewing a private viewing with um, a collector who was you know sort of fascinated with you know with the space as well as the art 
And what I'm learning or enjoying is that I get to talk, I, I get to enjoy two things that I love. The actual space, interiors, and and talking about art, but um, there were some things that he was looking at you know, there upstairs. I was like, oh, I found that on the beach. Oh, that was you know in the trash. I picked that up. So there is art is everywhere, mm -hmm. and we we have to take off of these these uh, restrictive things that we have that we mm -hmm. uh, um, that we label art and literally just see art everywhere. Art is everywhere. Art is spoken. Yeah. It's like everywhere. So, I mean, there is, I, I literally sometimes have to stop myself. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, okay, I, can't, I cannot drag this home right now. But if this is here, when I come back, I'm going to drag it home. Or, oh, I have too much. Like, where am I going to put this stuff? I don't have any place to hold it. Uh -huh. I got a place to hold some things. This is going to be trouble for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this piece, and I think of Lyle Ashton Harris's work. And so I think of this piece, but probably not, right? But No, so they are, so those are just two individual um, pieces. So one is from this image is uh, Sierra Domino Studios, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is literally um, uh, um, an image a friend posted on. It's old, so it wasn't IG. It was uh, posted on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Not Tumblr, one of those either. Yeah. <laughs> yes, one of those. So that's it. And I just and I thought, let me put them, you know, in this in this frame together uh, and you know you just you just mix and a lot of people and you you know you know this a lot of people sometimes you know I have friends who've come here they're like oh you know you have uh, you have uh, images of nudity in your place so you know I can't bring my kids what their kids are naked they were born without clothes and like why are you why are you adding any sexual thing to it yeah. you know there is no there is no sexualness to, to these images now i have those but there, <laughs> there, there, there are no there is nothing to to these images in, in in particular and then and then they uh think about it because what what happens is their kids ask them questions that they have to answer and then they really uh, take themselves to a point where oh okay mm -hmm. and then they have they have real conversation with their kids and it's not uncomfortable and they're like oh and it and I've given four friends entry into to um, talking about their kids about sex in general mm -hmm. because that's how it, it started and they're like oh you know like you know I want to thank you because you know I thought oh you should take that down first of all if you don't like it I don't have to take it down you can leave <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah so that's it and I think the most interesting interesting spaces speak about its occupants right and you know I'm nothing without new men. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Uh, See, and I know some of this, as you said, is how things are placed within how yes. people can imagine the art being so, displayed, right? Yeah, you just, you know, you just, just move through. And like, you will appreciate this. So this is, I, I, uh, like when it's, wow. uh, as people are just there, but this is, I have an old, this is an old flyer from a uh, sex party um, mm -hmm. that uh, we used to do in the 90s. I think this is from the 90s, I'm sure. So that's May 30th, so that was Memorial Day weekend. And I was just going through things. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this. So once I found it going through boxes, yeah. I'm like, what? And this is, oh, you see? Oh my God. And ooh, this is how, this is literally just I, I don't, if I see art, I'm like, I love this. So it was just like, so, so cool. So, so, brilliant, so, so, brilliant. so cool. But I love how you also elevate what we would so see as sort of like, you know, 
throwaway stuff. Yeah, no, because you, because hey, I see, I, I see, uh, you, you're going now, Chris? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm about to leave in a second. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, um, I see, look, I, I see the potential and like everything. And, be, and before I realized I saw the potential and everything, for instance, um, a, a friend of mine, um, uh, I was, I can't remember, I can't, oh, we were, we were out uh, shopping mm -hmm. um, or just looking at things. And I was like, oh, you know, hey, I'm like, oh, this is, this is very cool. And then he paused. I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, oh, well, it's cool for what? I'm like, it's a bowl. What are you talking about? He's just like, with you, I don't know. You know, this bowl could be, you know, it could be the base of a table, whatever. So I don't know. So I was just like, well, it's cool for. So I'm like, okay, this is true. And that's when I realized, oh, I do really, I do really give a lot of um, uses to different things. Like this, this piece, you know, that's, that is a, a, a that's the department of uh, water. Water, yeah. yeah um, something else. Yeah. And that was sitting on the street, and I'm just like, I need to take that, all of it. I need to. That is that is mine. Wow. I need to, and this is a bathroom uh, you this use. Is bathroom. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Look, this is. Yeah. So oh, it was used. Yeah, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a flood. Yeah. Boom. Bam. Boom. Bam. Bam. Yeah, bam. So it really is. So this is my oasis. Whoa! So, and you got water coming from. Yeah. Everywhere. So the the thing is, so I don't use a lot of power, right, but I might right. use a lot of water. Uh, I might. I might do that. So yeah. So I used and to the, have. And here, this is. And these are like. Um, look at these cutouts from. Yeah, so this is, it is, it is, it's, this is like, um, whoa, whoa, <laughs> and I love how it all works, it does not, for, well, for me, it doesn't feel overwhelming, it beautifully, so, you know, and that, this is, you know, this, it is, it, 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 it literally is a, a, a living space. Yeah. I have a few, a, a few spaces where I'm like, oh, let me close this door. <laughs> but you know when you just said that? This is a, because a lot of people live in spaces, mm -hmm. but the spaces aren't living spaces. Oh, yes. No, my space is living. It, what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? Like, it, so with, um, with clients, I've had clients have, or, and, direct me to design some spaces around an event that they did once a year while their family lived in the house 365 days a year. Right. And the fights that I've had with people, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. Right. I'm not going to make this a dedicated space that you use once a year for what? Yeah. You, like, it makes no sense. Let's, we could make it, it can have that use but it doesn't need to be that dedicated use because otherwise it's silly and it's, you know, like there's, people can be excessive with space because what I try to try to do is show people like sometimes you have more than you, you, you need. Mm -hmm. If you're not using it, then you don't, you know, you don't, you don't need it. What are you doing? You know, so like use this space. And so one client I remember, I, <laughs> The, the space that she wanted to be her show space, which was the, the dining the dining area that, you know, connected the kitchen. I'm like, this should actually be your family, the place where your family got this two kids and they had, you know, kids had to rent. I'm like, they should use this room the most. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I, you know, I, I, my family comes from all over, you know, once a year, it's always at my house and I need blah, blah, blah. I'm like, for once, once a year, and you want people who only visit you once a year to have an experience that your kids can really build with 365 days a year with the friends who come over, who's doing homework with them, who are just like sitting around. And I did that. Actually, she, 
I would, I have, I, I found that the card, she sent me a card about six years later. So she did eventually let me do what I wanted to do. And mm -hmm. she sent me a card. She mm -hmm. says, I'm sitting here in um, this space that you've created for us, which is really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. She says, the, the thing that's most striking and what, what prompted me to, to, to write this to you, and she wrote, she hand wrote a card in this digital age, hand wrote a card, put a stamp on it and sent it to me in the mail. She says, I'm looking at my kids who are now, uh, at that point they were 12 and 14, but they were, so that was, so they were like maybe five and six. And she said, I'm looking at them in this space that you browbeat me into um, using, she says, and it's work the way you said it would mm -hmm. work. She said, friends, she said, when my kids come home, the first thing they do, they sit in this place, their friends come and they all sit here and they use this space and they, this space is really about the, about family, which is what I was thinking that one day a week, one day a year would be about, would be about, but this is about family and my my kids have grown in this space and they are able to, they own this space, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and whenever they, and whenever any sort of group activity, all of it happens right here every day. Mm -hmm. And she says, thank you. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. That's what it was about. Yeah. Beautiful. No, I mean, I, even the way you, just the plants, just the way found items, things that mean something to you, quite personal, historical connections. I mean, it's heritage. It's and looking and also forward looking at the same that's, time. That's that's uh, that's what I try to try to do, and you know what? And so I'll tell you. So I struggled when I first um, when I first opened. I stole that literally from the subway. <laughs> really? When, when right. that show was up, I literally took it off of the subway in 1994. That show was up. I took that thing right off the train. So I was going to, uh, as I was getting ready for the opening of this show, which was a little over a week ago, um, I had very briefly thought about, oh, I should, you know, clean this up a little. Mm. And I thought, you know, this space is a space and this is how I use it. This is exactly the way it looks. I'll get stuff and it'll, it'll go there, but that's exactly how it is, you know? So, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. I really, I'm tell, I feel, I feel super, super blessed to, mm. um, to be able to, you know, have this space and the fact that people enjoy it. And like you said, they are, you know, my space is a true living space. Yeah. When friends come, yeah. they're just like, oh my gosh, everybody immediately feels comfortable here. Yeah. And if that is what home is supposed to be. Yeah. Not, oh, 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 no. nothing's precious. Yeah. There may be some things that are wildly expensive, but nothing's precious. Yeah, yeah. And also, even if you weren't here, Absolutely. There's a sense of who you are and, you know... Absolutely. You're living. My, your my, my nephew, who was just here, his friend, just like, oh, we, we just want to say, we just, like, your space is just, like, it's inspiration, we love it, you know, uh, when you're not here, when, when your nephew's in town, we're always on the rooftop smoking, we're doing blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that's what it's about. You know, just, like, literally, just enjoy it. I'm just, really? just really enjoy it. And I see also has women. I, I thought I yes. would only see men. So yes. this is interesting. Beautiful. They do. <laughs> the graveyard over there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, get it, uh, trying to get it together. Wow. Yeah. 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 It's a mess. It's a mess. Oh my gosh. I can't 
<laughs> what do you mean? But but I feel like it's about it's a living space, a lived is, in space. It is definitely a like in why? Space. I mean, what, that's my thing about looking at those um, architectural magazines. Sometimes it's like, but this is not how people live. Come on, it's so no, sanitized. Exactly. Now, I was gonna say, well, now no normally it's a little neater than this, <laughs> just a tiny bit. Yeah. Uh, it's neater. It may not be, you know, it's just a, a tiny. And you bit. have one of these fridges. Yeah. That you, well, <laughs> this is great. Yeah. You can see everything. So that's that's it. I'm like, and people are so accustomed to doing this so I have some folks and they're doing it. I was like, you know the door is glass. <laughs> they still do. <laughs> I said, you, you know the door is glass. You can see everything that's in it. Ah, it's such yeah. a metaphor though for exactly <laughs> the story you're telling, which is about just be open with... Be open, exactly. You could, so the 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 shelving is like it's all yes, open. Literally, yes, it's, it's just yes. all open. So you can see like Oh, like, oh, what's behind here? Listen, I can see it. Oh, in the way my brain works, yeah, yeah. I could sometimes, I'm um, doing whatever. I'm like, oh, where is that thing? And I'm looking for this thing that I just had. Right. I'm like, where is that thing? And I'm looking, I'm just like, it's right in the open and I can't see it. So imagine if it's behind. I'm just like, no, that, that, that does not. That does not Brilliant. Work. And I love the, actually, I walked in the tree. I was struck by the tree just hanging over and then being able to look through these leaves. So the, I get the connection to nature and uh, the world. So I'm from California. So mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the idea of greenery is, is key to me. So I've been fighting, well, not a real fight, but um, that tree, um, my neighbor asked me to cut cut the tree down mm -hmm. once. I'm like, you're crazy. And he's from the Caribbean. I'm like, you want me to cut a tree down? No, that's not happening. And then uh, the friend uh, downstairs who I own the house with, so he's like, oh, the tree is just getting too unruly. Let's take that. I was like, that, yeah, we're going to do something else. That tree, that tree can't go. Because when I'm in here, like at, that tree gives me joy 24 seven, 365, when it's filled with leaves and when it's not. And it just does like every, like it is at night, mm -hmm. if I didn't have any lights on in here, I, so the trees I light. Mm -hmm. So you, the, and the way it looks, and it looks like, so some folks come because you can, in the, in the bedroom, front, and they're like, oh, is that a, is that a picture or is that a, I'm like, no, that's outside. That's for real, mm. you know? So that's, um, oh, okay. I said, it's, yeah, it's just joy. And that's, uh, and that's so just you're, joy. You're almost curating the outside yeah. as well. <laughs> but, but that's, you know, so it, what you, you bring it in and you just, and my curation is, oh, well, I need to see this at night. Right. That's, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's the curation. And then I have, Upstairs, which is like that's my office, um, and I have a deck out there, which is my happy space. Really? And if you if you if you are down to climb the ladder, I will show you my happy space. I'm down to climb the ladder because yeah. I can't stop now. I mean, look at <laughs> look at the. I mean, these are great. I like how some of them are a little abstract, and then he sort of brings them into more realization. Here, that's beautiful. Okay, so, it's partially because I'm, anyway. All right, let me come. Yes, people, I'm doing this with the camera. With it, oh, and be, and be, be careful. All right, and it's bolted, so I'm good. Down. Oh my God! What is going on? What is this? This is what? It's my happy space. So between it, it's just real. It's yeah. 
Oh my gosh, I wish my sculpture was up. So this was a, I did a textile uh -huh. sculpture. Um, uh, I'll show you f photos of it, but mm -hmm. it was, you know, when the wind blows, it, it animated because it, it would move, mm -hmm. it was great. And so I, I um, to, so, to give some privacy, but you see, I didn't make it go all the way because I right. still need to, I'm still, in, I'm still in the city and I like the city, mm -hmm. that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to be able to look at it. You know, just to, you know, a, a little. And I also like that bare rooftop. So mm -hmm. I'm like, there's, there's, a, there's a push and pull mm -hmm. that I have. I'm just like, oh, I live in New York and I really love the grit, mm -hmm. you know, and I like, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to try not to, you know, try not to fight it but when this is here it i'll show you it is wow. stunning but you just talked about this combination of new york and la in that moment mm -hmm. the grit of new york and you already talked about yep. california yep. <laughs> the greenery yep. foliage the only thing you can't see is the beach or right sand or anything like that right. but otherwise and but but you know we have a shower out here <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, so there's water. There's water. You don't believe me? I told you, I, I may not use electricity, but I You have water. to have water. <laughs> I use water. And it's good to... Yes, I, I'm, I'm going to use some water. I'm, water is calming, mm -hmm. so I'm going to use some water. And then also, I'm not about, you know, just you, just the space, like... Uh, uh, neatly manicured things. Mm -hmm. No, I like, you know, let it grow. You know, like I have uh, plants. Some, someone's like, oh, this plant, oh, it's, uh, you, you need to get a, another one because now, you know, it's too woody. It's whatever. I'm like, I like the, the sticks. It, it shows the structure of the, of the plant. Mm -hmm. I don't just need to see to leave, mm -hmm. leaves. I like the structure of it mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm into um, all of that. But this is I'm up here, like, all the time. I browbeat my mother into buying me this table, which wasn't expensive, but I'm like, I'm like, Mom, you need to get me a gift for my house. <laughs> oh, what makes you think? I, I'm like, Mom, it's a, a, a table. Oh, it's something expensive. I'm like, that's what you think. You think I only like expensive things. No, nope. I'm like, I found the table that you would buy for me, uh -huh. which is $100. <laughs> so... You, you need to get this. But yeah, it's it's just, I, I just, I just, it's just love. So I'm just here. I have friends who come. I have a, a, a friend who, he works, you know, everybody's working remotely now. So he comes and this is his office um, mm -hmm. during the day. Um, sometimes, and whenever he has a Zoom call, he's out here actually sunbathing, sometimes nude. And whenever he has a Zoom call, he has a... Uh, a shirt he puts on literally and sits and you know it looks like oh blah, blah. I'm just like you are he's like I am doing my work <laughs> and it's, I don't, you know I'm not parading around naked for them or anything but anyway it's just I love the fact that when when people come here that they enjoy it that it's just really really comfortable for, yeah for yeah. them I like and, that I, and I think the idea of the tree also helps with the with the um temperature and the feeling and the mood even if it's really really hot yeah i always find even when you're in the you know tropical global south yes. i mean that's the thing about having foliage around you the more lush the place is the more it feels yes like it's really comfortable and easy even if it's steaming yeah you know, it's like being in a um, tropical jungle setting and just still enjoying the vibe it of is. being tropical right yeah so yeah. you know so that's it so this is beautiful this is you know where you could often find me doing this uh, laptop in hand. I'm in shorts and a tank top, and I'm doing blah 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 blah. <laughs> That's it. So is this the showing attire that you're wearing today? <laughs> this is. I was like, oh my gosh, people are coming. Let me, you know, put on like whatever. But I have on my my um, my roof trunks. I'm like, they're not gonna take me seriously as a gallerist if I open the door and I'm in beach wear. <laughs> So let me put on something so they can take me seriously. <laughs>
Really? Yeah. So yeah. So beautiful. So yeah, and then even up here. So I added on to the house. You can see, this is this was the roof, and I just added on this. Right. And right. This is it. And I'm just like working. I used to have my desk here. It, right. It, it was glass, and you know, one unfortunate turn, it um, someone grabbed it, and it went crashing down. Mm. But, yeah, this is, um, it's part this of is, the risk of living yeah. with yeah. the reality a, of it all. A friend of mine did that piece. Um, it's, um, it's about gentrification and that He did this almost 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, I think it was 2000, 2013. Actually, being in this in 2012. Yeah, so it's a, you know, it's about um, their style mm -hmm. and gentrification. And now this, it is, um, it is no longer a threat. It is reality. Reality. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just comfort. That's what I, that's what I do. That's what I go for. I just, I thought I, you were beyond me, man. Well, <laughs> wait, until we, wait until we open books like you were letting me open. And actually, my art, so I will show you like where I, as I'm scrambling to get this together, mm -hmm. I, I had to take all of them. I took a good portion of my my art that's in my collection down, but it's all in that room. I see, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> or most of it is in that room. Some of it I, you know, it's layered under, uh -huh. I'm just like, okay, I because I, I, I didn't, I don't have my system, uh, my system yet. I know, so. and, and it's good to sometimes have some of that discreet, at least for, for my little videotaping purpose, good to yes. have some of your stuff, not so, you know, yes. oh, now we know what he's got in this house, we can exactly. come get it, you know, or we can now covet it even yes. more. So. so, no, but I appreciate you letting me, because this is know. beautiful, and you talking about it. I don't, yeah. Have you done this before, to walk people through your home and talk because... about it? I, well, I mean, my place has been, have I been on, I may have, because pe people a lot, but because I'm so fascinated with your space, mm -hmm. uh, when Shay took me to your space, and, he, and Shay was like, oh no, you just have to see his space, you have to see, and, we, and, and the freedom that you allowed me in your space, mm -hmm. like, you, I'm going through everything, you allowed me to try on some items of clothing you had, so... So it is me reciprocating. Oh, thank you. Um, and it's just, and it's easy because I talk, again, I am, there is a project that I have had in my head for a while that I'm, I'm going to activate in short order and your, you and your space is, you know, part of it, mm. you know, mm -hmm. so actually what I, what I'm doing is I'm going to show black men in their homes around the globe. Mm, mm, yeah, um, because I've gone into some spaces that have made my head spin, and also to to remove the idea that you know, like you you're talking about, like oh the the ones that are in the shelter magazines, the architectural mm -hmm. digest, the home decor, the whatever, um, and some uh, a good number of those spaces wouldn't make it into those things mm -hmm. but they are not but and yeah. they are wildly amazing spaces wildly amazing spaces i go to um you you know you'll you, you may meet some new people and then when you're in their space the way black men um, and some they're just in, you know, they may be in just very sparse spaces, but their possessions or their uniforms. I am fascinated with the way black men display their baseball caps mm. in some spaces. There's just this whole display thing that goes mm. on in addition to cologne. Mm. They do it with baseball caps, cologne and some even with empty liquor bottles. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, they, they, they keep them in the way, 
the way these collections are, the way they opt to show these collections, I think fascinating. Mm -hmm. One of the funniest things, I'll tell you, I, I, I met someone on one of the apps, in his space, and I was, but he was a beautiful man. His space was fascinating, fascinating. He didn't think it was fascinating at all. Actually, no, he did. He put a lot of work into it. It was fascinating the way that he had painted the entire place black. Mm -hmm. The entire place black. He covered all of the windows with uh, uh, light blocking shades. And then he painted himself. He, he, he just paints some markings on the walls uh, with um, glow in the dark paint. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, the, the, the garish pink, that garish yellow and the green. And then he also had glow in the dark posters. And in addition to that, um, you know, the, um, the blankets that they have at the 99 cent store, the furry one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those were the blankets that were covering his bed and the sofa. And then he had a bunch of, a bunch of uh, the stuffed, um, toys from from Coney Island mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. bunch of them mm -hmm. so he had mm -hmm. so so that was it so and he turned on you know he you know it was pitch black and he had on uh, whatever the light was it allowed the things that glowed in the dark to to like a translucent have a, yeah it, was, it would have this fluorescent fluorescent that's the word yeah and then he had lava lamps where the things it was fascinating and I tell you and I'm not joking I walked out and I called a magazine editor I'm like you must see this space uh -huh. I'm like I don't know if I could get back in I was like but I'm going to describe it to you and it should be on the cover of some magazine because it was fast it was fascinating just cheap shit yeah yeah. And it was fascinating. I'm like, this is brilliant. It was, fa even this carpet, was this carpet black? I don't know if the carpet was, the carpet may have been a dark brown or maybe a, the regular sort of oatmeal, no pile carpets that are on the, I was, it was, it was fascinating. I almost want to say that the walls, he had hung he had hung the furry blankets on the walls in the bathroom also. So everything, but it was just this tactile thing. And he didn't process it as anything special. It was just that, oh, this is just what I wanted to do. I'm like, this is special. Yeah, yeah. This is special. Now he never let me back in. So the magazine editor was <laughs> never able to see it, but it was fascinating. And I, you know, you go and you, you see, you know, like oh wow like baseball caps or and shoes sneakers they will they're lined and I'm like these they line these they are perfectly straight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Per and it's just rows and rows of them they'll have I don't know maybe a hundred baseball caps I'm like do you wear these oh yeah you know I could I could see them I'm like wow you know and then the shoes and whatever and everything else is like bare bones. Some, you know, beat up sofa, some, you know, broken chair, whatever. But just, I'm just like, these spaces are fascinating, you know? And it's so interesting when you describe that young man's face, in my head, I could see somebody walking going, this is tacky. Exactly. Right? Exact. Most people would take it, I'm like, this, it was brilliant. To me, I wish I knew somebody at World of Interiors. Mm. It was a type of space that World of Interiors would absolutely, absolutely relish. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic because it's those, it's those, it was, it reminded me of the quirky European spaces or how they do um, actually in, in parts of, um, uh, parts of South America and the Caribbean and in Africa where it's just, uh, well, we're going to just use what we have. And then the spaces are like mind blowing. You're like, what? Mm -hmm. You've taken 
labels and you've made wallpaper from cereal boxes. You've taken, you know, cans and you have enough cans to fill this entire wall. This is amazing. And it speaks about love of place. This is my place. This is what I love. And that's all he saw. Oh, this is what I don't. He didn't care if anyone else thought it was special. And he actually thought most people wouldn't find it special. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, I still think about that space. And I saw that space at least 15 years ago, if not 17 years ago. And I still it's see still it. It's still so and present. It is, it is. Even the way you described it, almost it, to the it detail. It is seared and it, because it was amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And he was like, oh, whatever. I was like, what? And it probably has inspired you a little bit over the years, even just how you think about yes. approach to something, right? Or Absolutely. projects. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the thing, folks are like, oh, you can't. I'm like, no, that taught me something. Mm -hmm. That taught me something. Because it was all encompassing. It was, mm -hmm. he went mm -hmm. all in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it was fascinating. Oh my gosh, it was fascinating. It was fascinating because I because first he opened it was dark. I'm like, mm, can you turn on the light? You know, but it was yeah, it was. Oh my gosh, I I wish I wish people could have seen that space. It was fascinating. It was fascinating, and that white magazine editor, she wanted to see the space. She was like, well, if you're telling me about it, I need to see it. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I don't know if you'll, uh, I don't know if he, I'll get in. I don't know if he'll respond, but I'm going to, but it didn't happen. But yeah, it was, it was fascinating. Other thing, I love plants. I want to live in a jungle. I'm seeing. I want to live in a jungle. Everywhere. What do you mean you want to, you live in a jungle? <laughs> <laughs> plants outside, you know, um, everywhere we've gone in the bathroom. That's why I asked you, this is a use, this is a bathroom you use. You're like, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, listen, it's. It's all, uh, uh, so, cause as much as I love interior mm -hmm. and as much as I love art, um, they're both work and there are stresses that come with it. And there is no point where I ever want to feel stressed and I find comfort in plants, I find comfort in art and I find comfort in water. Mm. That's um, you give me art, plants, and water. Life, absolute life. Period. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Wow. So. Okay. Let's, let me see you go down. I'm gonna go down. I didn't. I didn't do a good job down in that second floor. So I'm just gonna go around and get some of those photos. Okay. Those images. Yeah. And the best way down is sit, and if you put your foot on the first rung, and then I turn around. You think, oh, sit down? Yeah, well, for me, oh, yeah, or you can just put, yeah, that's the, yep, yeah, that's it. Sit and then down. If you turn from there, you're good. All right. Yeah, I think I can make it down. Might even be able to make it down oh, just okay. like Some this. people do that. I'm, I'm unable to do that. Yep. Yeah. See, folks do that. I'm unable to do that. I'm sorry. That I can't do. <laughs> that to me is scary. That's scary. <laughs> so feel free to just go. go yeah, go this around, is beautiful. Go, go about. Let me. Wow. Um, Love this kitchen. Uh, Amazing. And, and the textile. I'm a, oh, I'm a textile four. Oh yeah, you gotta see this bathroom because I was just like, this is another bathroom upstairs, and I love already the image I'm seeing.
And so normally you'd have other pieces of your Yes. Here. Yes. To um, art. Really? So, I, my oldest sister is 10 years older than me. So, uh, maybe I was young. I may have been, I may have been four or five, but I remember it. So, there's, and my mother gave it to me. I'm so happy. So, um, that piece used to hang in my grandmother's house, and my grandmother died the same year that I moved to New York is over 35 years ago. Um, um, and my sister had uh, drew something that was in Jet Magazine. She drew it and used, um, I guess it was sort of, um, it was gouache or some sort of water kind of paint, but it wasn't, they weren't expensive materials, but she, she did it on paper. And then she put a, I think then they used to put a varnish over it. She did a varnish, but I was fascinated with that piece because it, it made me want to draw. When I saw that, I, I used to just sketch, I'd draw everything. She did this and it was in my grandmother's house and she, she died. Um, and when I moved to New York, um, and I asked when they were clearing my grandmother's house out, I asked my mother, I was like, can I have that piece? And it's here and it's in my office. I, I move it around, but it's in my office. I didn't even frame it. It's getting brittle. Some of the paper is, is breaking, but it is, I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's my origin. That's what, you know, that's what did it. My, my sister, you know, inspired me. So I guess I come from a family of, of creative people, but um, yeah, so that piece was up there. A Oh my gosh, I love that piece. I love that piece. Yeah. Can you take Let's that off it. again? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, and so right now you should tell them your name. Oh, I'm Hank Mitchell. This, we're in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I don't know why I'm like trying to think about it. I know exactly where I am. <laughs> we're in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, here in my townhouse, um, where I also have a gallery called Watermelon Projects. And how do people connect with you? 
So it's been um, um, through different artists, uh, different people who have now have visited the space. From the start, I just sent out a blast to, I know there, are, I do know some artists, they, so they put the word out to other folks. And then the artists who I represent put out um, word to people. I just put it out there and that's, you know, that's connection. So I'm, I'm building, I'm building. So yeah. usually people want to see the shows that you're putting on, how do they find out? So on IG, uh, it's, Watermelon Projects, Watermelon Projects, yeah, underscore Watermelon Projects on IG, and the website is watermelonprojects.net. Yeah, let's and, look. And this current show is on until? This current show is showing until September 15th, um, and the gallery is open by appointment Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, because it's an, you know, it's actually in my house. And then I'm, I'm really able to show people the work. They, you know, folks could walk through freely, but if they have questions, they could see it because the opening night was kind of a madhouse, you know. And the way I also like to see art, I like to see, like, I could, I can spend hours in a gallery looking at work. Um, so, and I like, and that's the same experience I want people to have. You're okay with this going on YouTube because that's where I put myself. Oh, yeah. I'm really, okay. because this has been incredible. Thank you. Thank you. It's an Thank honor you. and a gift to be able to share all your stories with me that went Thank beyond you. your show. Thank you. you know, Thank you. I feel like I did a small right. documentary and that's well, I'm a Hank Mitchell. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, yes. Can I give you a drink? You want to give the drink? Sure. What, what do you, you want? What do you have? You tell me what you I have, I, like, I have. Uh, what, I have gin, I have whiskey, I have some wine, and I can make up a, I can make a little cocktail. Make a cocktail, surprise me.
so stunning. stuff alone because it's so incredible and so much so many books can't can't um, contain it leaves just what a beautiful beautiful well, I guess his um who he hook comes home with has it downstairs which is lovely to have as well gorgeous 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 there you go people let us see a book collection Love this, love this. You all know that my head is exploding, right? All right, this wonderful bathroom. it over the sink because <laughs> yeah. I have not done that at times and been like whoa so how long are you in New York I'm here until Monday evening okay now are you in town for US Open or are you no 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 we came last weekend Labor Day weekend before the work 
life gets crazy. Ah. And also, I think there's a Soul Summit tomorrow night, tomorrow. Ah. But the boys, we all want to go together. We've never gone together, so we want to go together. And then Juve on Sunday, Monday morning. So I do that, have that experience. We haven't done Juve in a few years. I think it's the first one since the lockdown, right? So. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Well, there we go. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. So there we bid you adieu. So come check it out. All right. Yes. You like the cocktail? Love it.